Hi there everyone, this is Tracy from Lavinia Stamps and thank you for joining me for another demonstration. I hope you're having a good Christmas break and um, are doing lots of crafting in your time off. So I'm here now just to do a really nice quick simple card using the sticker stencils. We've got our lovely a pack of different shapes and today I'm going to be using this one which is a really nice sort of archway and we're going to be creating this with our lovely little fox here. We've got the archway so I'm just going to take that off the background. Remembering that you can use this um, over and over again as well, it's repositionable, which is really great if you, you know, you pop it down and you think, oh, you know, this that side's bigger than the other side or whatever. Um, you can just keep moving it until you feel happy with how it is. Right, let's just make sure that's nicely pressed down and we're ready to go. So I've picked a few different colours here. So I'm going to grab a couple of stencil brushes. Starting with the larger one, I'm going to ink up in the Bermuda. Just test it out on a scrap piece of paper first, taking a little bit off so you're not putting too much on for the first time. We're going to build the colour gradually and that way we don't get any blemishes or lines and it's just nice to keep that swirling motion, keep it even. All the way around. So that's a good start. Now we're going to take our hill mask and I'm going to pop that down, covering that over because I want the effect of snow. And when I'm happy where it's positioned, I'm going to just take another colour. We'll do the midnight blue. And I'm going to take the smaller stencil brush and take that over the top. Just bringing in that darker colour is going to make it that little bit more dramatic. For now I'm going to follow that all the way around the edge. Now using the smaller stencil brush you get more of a defined line but you can easily use your medium sized stencil brush if you want something a little bit more subtle and less sort of dense in colour. But I'm going straight in with a sort of dramatic look. Let's pop the lid on. And now inking up our lovely fox. We're going to ink him up in the nocturne. Okay, so once he's covered, pop him down where you're happy. 
So give that a good press, let it rest a while, it's on a uh, watercolour card. So you just need to give it a little bit more time than you would on a normal card. So we've got to just let that ink soak in. And there we have our lovely sharp image. Okay, so I am now going to use our clean colour uh, pen. This is sort of a, an orange red. And I'm just going to take that colour over the top. It's very subtle. Um, I'm not even sure whether you'll be able to see it on the camera, but I will hold it up at the end. But it gives a really nice sort of tinge of red, but it keeps that lovely sharp edge that we've used with the Versifying Claire, which is really important because it's such a detailed stamp. Um, I want to keep that detail. But just by filling it in, you don't need to go right over the edge following all the hairs, just fill in the centre bit and just gives you that hint of colour, which I think is really nice and um, effective as well. Okay, so I've got some little mushrooms here. I'm going to ink up. I'm going to pop those round about. Like so. And then I'm taking our lovely little tiny branch, which as you know is one of my go-tos. Lastly, I need a little bit of foliage just to hang down. So we'll ink that up in the twilight, I think. Stamp off first. And then taking a red Posca, I'm just going to do a few little dots coming down. Gives it that sort of wintry berry feel. And got the yellow here as well and all I'm going to do is just pop a few little dots around. This is a glittery yellow and it looks absolutely fabulous in the right light. It's nice because you've got quite a lot of control over it with it having a, a nib as opposed to a, a brush. And there we go. So I'm going to take that off. It's great how it just pops out, doesn't it, instantly when you take that off. Um, so now I'm going to just use our little stars. I'm going to ink up in the black, take off, just add a few around like so. Don't need an awful lot. Oh, 
yeah now we can soften that edge with a brush if we want or we can leave as is I think on the blue one here I just literally took a brush popped a little bit of color and just went round the edge I think I'm going to leave this one as is all I need is a little verse now just to pop on the bottom there try and get it as straight as I can there we go and then finishing off with some stickles so I'm going to use the silver and all I'm going to do is go around the edge This is where I hold my breath, forget to speak, try and keep my line straight as I can. But as I've said before, if you can't do a straight line, then just dot and it's just as effective. I'm going to put a few little dots about. a little bit of magic and that's it that's all there is to it I think that's quite a simple quick card to make and I do love the sticker stencils I think they're a really nice uh, starting point thank you so much for joining me again today you take care and I'll see you soon bye for now